All right, so uh, we are here in the airplane at Healdsburg, 556 Lima Uniform, and Alex is our guest passenger, and we're about to take off. This way I've got the uh, Healdsburg traffic down in the star, 556 Lima Uniform, taking off runway 13, uh, downwind departure, Healdsburg. And we're going to climb to about 3,000 feet. Okay, traffic. Traffic. Way one for me. Airspeed alive on both airspeed indicators on center line. Hey, okay, rotation. All right, slight deviation to the left. Reducing RPM. Just for traffic down at Star 556, leave me a firm turning downwind, runway uh, 13 Hillsburg. Yep, airliner up there. So there's the airport we just took off from. Right. And the mountain up over there is called St. Helena. Down here on the right, right at the beginning at the base of the mountains, there's a little pyramid building. Looks like a big warehouse. That is the Francis Ford Coppola Winery. Oh, and uh, as a very good restaurant, if you ever come back into the area, we'll go there. Um, they have a swimming pool where you can get a reservation to come for the day to go swimming for a couple of hours. Right. And um, they also have a couple of Oscars in there because Francis Ford Coppola, you know, made a couple of little movies like Godfather. And so a lot of people come out to Lake Sonoma and they go boating. Uh, the lake is actually quite uh, full at the moment. Uh, we had a very good winter in terms of rain, which was good for the lakes and good for fresh water supply, uh, but also very good for the fuel loading. So all the trees and the grasses and everything that catch fire. Um, down here on the left, you see that patch of burnt uh, uh, landscape that was a wildfire and then every once in a while you'll see some red retardant still on like re new newer fires all right when you're flying in the summer over mountains it can get a little bumpy here and there so right now i don't feel any bumps but once we start heading over the hills uh it might get a little bumpy is because like of the temperature difference or uh, just the way the wind is blowing. Alright, so this is Lake Sonoma. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, I fly a little bit lower. <laughs> it's really fun kind of coasting the lake. And there's an airliner up there. And then the Pacific Ocean is off to our right, uh, which uh, 
probably today is going to be pretty fogged in. Sometimes I take people over there and we go try to do whale watching. Probably. And the whales go up and down the coast. It's looking pretty clear today, actually. This is considered like pretty good weather, right, right now? Oh, it's fantastic. Right. It's hot, but it's 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 smooth. Right. It's not turbulent. It's not very windy. Um, and we're, we're just climbing out. In the in the summers, it can get a little hotter, um, and then it can be. Um, It can be a little bit more difficult to fly because of bumpiness and but climb rate is not as good at, you know. Let's go down here to center and we're going to start listening to the airliners. South Command 4, radar contact 6 miles southwest of Santa Rosa Airport, 3600. Uh, remind me again, type aircraft to destination. That's the radar contact, the AC-35 helicopter there, and we've got the San Francisco, like the Honda's point arrival. Through 3100. Okay, I'll approach, open up to Winston at another six. Uniter. Send up, I have a request. Yep. Uh, stand by one click. So what you would see then is there would be just like tons and tons of old ships that are just lined up on that bay, um, ready to be reactivated in the case of some other war where you needed to transport lots of cargo to different places. Yeah, so anyway, Vileo's on the left. Uh, they don't build as many ships there anymore, but they used to. And then over this area is a lot of uh, gas storage, fuel. Uh, a lot of fuel comes in from the, uh, you know, the Middle East or you know, Alaska or something like that. But pretty much ahead of us is the entire Central Valley now. 16 for contact, have tower 120.75. 120.75 or 556. I'm leaving Interforum on uh, approach to runway 3, right, so approach to November 556, five, Lima Uniform, Charles Tower runway 3 right, wind 240 at 8, cleared low approach. Wind low approach, runway 3 right, 556 five, Interforum. Approach runway 3 right, wind 240 yeah, most, uh, most countries don't really let their general aviation pilots fly near or to their military bases. Um, and so uh, this is Travis Air Force Base. There's a lot of cargo planes, uh, C-5s, C-17s, um, a whole bunch of different planes. Now, if you take a look at the runway, right. it's a 10,000 foot runway, you could land the space shuttle there. Huh. Um, the, uh, there's a bar of lights to the right of, uh, to the left of the runway. Huh. And as we're doing our approach, we want them to be too red, too white. Understood. Right now they're all four yellow, right? They're both white. They're all white. Now I'm currently on autopilot, so I'm going to disconnect them. Flight director. 
They're working currently on the other runway, as you can tell. Right. But once a year, they have a big air show here. Uh, and there's a lot of planes here today. Yeah, the ones on the left, I think, are the C-17s, and the ones on the right are the C-5s. One of them's even got his nose open. 500. Large one, little Hercules, right? Uh, oh, the ones behind there are the, uh, the few fuelers. And then the ones over there, that's the uh, DC-10s. All right, there we go. Let's make sure we get a mixture prop. This is a typical approach to a short runway. Um, it's a little steep at the moment, but now you see the, the lights. I do. Now I'm not allowed to land. <laughs> oh, now this is approach. This is what the uh, military pilots would see. And if you're in a C5, this you'd probably be on the ground already. Okay. All right. Let's get on the go. And that is a long runway. I could land and take off and land and take off and land and take off <laughs> in this plane on this runway. The reason why we were not allowed to land is It's a military base. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah. Okay, let's put our up. They load us to approach the base, right? Yeah. Seven Tower, Diamond Star 556. Thank you very much. And we're on the go and uh, heading towards trucking. Roger, for flight volume, contact North Approach 126.6. 126.6, thanks for the help. Take that from. See ya. See ya. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess the probably experience is pretty often, but like, just for a third part of server, like a random plane approaching military base, trying to land, like, like, completely calm, like, business as usual, another way. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, so the good news there is that a lot of people will uh, that are doing instrument training uh, or learning to fly instruments. The right. Air Force bases are pretty quiet places. They have all the all the instrument approaches. Uh, they have all the um, uh, you know like the lighting, and, and it's it's a good place to train. And there's usually not much going on, and unless they've got active planes taking off, the controllers are just sitting in the tower doing nothing. Like that. So that, that might be the most work you had to do today. <laughs> Alright, and we will record the landing. Alright, let me slow us to 80 knots. Yeah, you can put that behind us. And that would be final, runway 20. And we're pretty high. And you want to follow along, if you want, with me on the controls? Um, yeah, might as well. All right. Per track 316, your traffic is 2 o'clock, mile and a half, 1,500. Uh, they're looking for that traffic, per track 316. And we're going to get us to 90 knots. Yes, believe it or not, right now. 316. Quick track 316, follow the Diamond Star, runway 20, clear to land. The power off approach. Runway 20, clear to land, quick track 316. This is where the heat from the road and the parking lots starts causing a little bit of bumpiness. Alright, we're going to have to uh, slow down here. Our first notch of flaps in. Change our now what we're going to do, final knots of flaps. Now we're really high, so what we're going to do is we're going to slip out to uncoordinated flight in order to get a Pull side up. slip. Set 7 Julia Golf, your traffic, 10 o'clock, a mile and a half, right. turning That's final, good. 700 feet. And we... Set 7 Julia Golf, follow the Cessna, runway 20, 30 plane. 
Time to start six Lima uniform, taxi to the ramp via Alpha, safe parking. We'll taxi in front of the tower at uh, six Lima uniform. Roger. Taxi via Alpha to the ramp, six Lima uniform. All right, flaps come up, the pump comes off, landing light off. It is hot out there. <laughs> we hate it. 